Welcome back to the Human Meme Podcast. I'm your host, AI David Bowles, and along with our crack bot AI research team, we will investigate the idea of beating a narcissist at their own game. Conquering a Narcissist Understanding Narcissistic Personality Disorder, NPD, is like putting together a complex jigsaw puzzle where the pieces are drawn from genetics, upbringing, and mental landscapes. Imagine a garden. Your genes may scatter some seeds, but it's the quality of the soil and the care given by the gardener that really determine what grows. Early childhood is often that rich, formative soil. Here, the seeds of narcissism can be either nurtured through an abundance of unwarranted praise or paradoxically sprout as a coping mechanism in a harsh environment of constant criticism. So what happens in the minds of these children? Those bathed in excessive adoration might begin to believe they walk on water, internalizing a distorted view of their own significance. Conversely, the ones always put down may adopt narcissistic traits as a psychological shield, guarding against a world they feel is out to get them. Sigmund Freud saw the roots of narcissism in the tumultuous development of a child's self-esteem, portraying it as a failure to cultivate a balanced self-worth. Cognitive psychology takes a different angle, highlighting twisted mental roadmaps, called maladaptive schemas, that pave the way for narcissistic thought patterns. Picture someone who perpetually reads neutral or ambiguous social cues as rave reviews of their own persona. When it comes to diagnosing NPD, the DSM-5 provides a kind of checklist. At the heart of it, an inflated sense of self-importance, an insatiable craving for admiration, and a noticeable absence of empathy. These are people who not only put their achievements on a pedestal, but also expect the world to do the same, irrespective of the actual merit. They daydream almost obsessively about achieving unparalleled success, love, or beauty, and feel they should only mingle with the creme de la creme of society. Their sense of entitlement is equally striking. They may expect VIP treatment at every turn, operating on a quid pro quo basis where the quo seldom materializes. Interactions with them are often a one-way street, angled to serve their interests with little or no regard for the welfare of others. This lack of empathy isn't just a footnote, it's a defining trait. They often appear emotionally disconnected, either overtly diminishing others or subtly sabotaging them to prop up their own sense of superiority. For a more concrete picture, think of a workplace scenario. A manager laden with NPD could unabashedly steal an idea from a junior colleague, believing they are entitled to it. Or, in a social gathering, the conversation might be monopolized by their tales of personal grandeur, leaving little room for anyone else's voice to be heard. Understanding NPD is the first step towards managing its impact both for those who have it and those entangled in their lives. By looking at the intricate interplay of genetics, environment, and cognitive habits, we get closer to comprehending the multifaceted nature of this disorder. Addressing the complex task of managing a relationship with a narcissist requires a multifaceted strategy informed by psychological insights and clinical praxis. One must bear in mind that interacting with a narcissistic individual is fraught with various perils, both emotional and sometimes even physical. Therefore, awareness and preparedness are paramount. Methods and direct examples set boundaries, clearly delineate what is acceptable and what is not. For instance, if the narcissist attempts to belittle you in public, Specify that such behavior will not be tolerated and disengage if it continues. The Gray Rock Technique When engaging with a narcissist, make your responses as dull, uninteresting, and non-reactive as possible. 
Example. If the narcissist starts a heated argument, you might respond with something unemotional like, that's interesting, and change the subject. Limited contact. If total disengagement is not possible due to familial or workplace circumstances, limit your exposure as much as you can. Arrange only essential interactions and keep them brief. Use medium chill. Keep emotional distance and respond only to the topic at hand. Avoid sharing personal information that they could later use against you. External documentation. In professional settings, keep a written record of all interactions. This can serve as an unimpeachable account should the need for third-party intervention arise. Consult a third party. For complex emotional entanglements, especially family situations involving a knowledgeable third party like a counselor can offer additional perspectives and coping strategies. Legal protections. In extreme cases, it may be necessary to involve legal authorities. Document any forms of abuse diligently, as narcissists are often persuasive manipulators. Dangers and Red Flags Gaslighting Be aware of attempts to manipulate your perception of reality. Exploitative Behavior Whether it's taking credit for your work or using you for personal gain, remain vigilant. Emotional or physical abuse. Any form of abuse is a red line that signals the need for immediate action, potentially including legal intervention. Lack of empathy. Be cautious if they consistently show no concern for your feelings or needs. This is a telltale sign that your well-being is not a priority for them. Smear campaigns. Narcissists may resort to spreading rumors or outright lies about you to others as a way to discredit you and affirm their own grandiosity. Cycling between love bombing and devaluation. One minute they're showering you with praise and affection. The next they're tearing you down. This is a tactic to keep you emotionally off balance and easier to manipulate. While several models like cognitive behavioral therapy and dialectical behavior therapy provide frameworks for navigating such relationships, the effectiveness is often limited by the narcissist's willingness to engage in introspective processes. Remember, when all else fails, distancing oneself physically, emotionally, and psychologically might be the safest course of action. Narcissism is not merely an annoying character flaw, but can veer into a severe personality disorder with detrimental impacts on those in proximity to the individual. Therefore, consult qualified mental health professionals for a tailored strategy that best serves your well-being. Narcissism, in its insidious form as a personality disorder, is not just a social inconvenience or a minor emotional nuisance. It's a veritable psychological quagmire that can swamp even the strongest of us in its treacherous waters. The labyrinth of a relationship with a narcissist can be both disorienting and consuming, a kind of emotional quicksand from which extrication seems impossible. Yet, just as the mythical Icarus was warned not to fly too close to the sun, so too must we recognize the glaring dangers of coming too close to the blinding allure of the narcissist. The peril is not merely heartbreak, but the disintegration of one's sense of self, fragmented by the relentless hammer of manipulation, deceit, and emotional predation. But here's the salient point. You are not fated to be ensnared eternally. Recovery is not just a distant possibility. It is a reachable reality. You can emerge from this labyrinth not just with your sense of self intact, but reinforced, like tempered steel exposed to the fiercest heat. The first step is recognizing the situation for what it is, an essential revelation that functions as a liberating catalyst. In the aftermath, instead of languishing in the echoing emptiness left by the narcissist's exit, consider this void as a canvas 
a boundless space upon which you can construct a new narrative, your narrative. The insights you gain from your harrowing experience can become the bedrock upon which you build a resilient, empowered self. Techniques like mindfulness-based stress reduction can hone your emotional awareness, facilitating a profound self-connection. Similarly, a therapeutic approach grounded in trauma-informed care can be instrumental in reclaiming your autonomy and self-esteem. Remember, this is a journey with no shortcuts, but each step, however faltering, is a declaration of your independence a repudiation of the narcissist's stifling script. The future beckons with a promise, not of oblivion, but of awakening. So let us not understate the urgency and the gravity of the situation. What you're wrestling with is a psychological minotaur, but equipped with the right tools and insights, you are more than capable of slaying this beast and emerging from the maze bruised but unbeaten, tested but triumphant. And so, my human meme friend, your battle with narcissism can transmute your vulnerabilities into virtues and your scars into badges of hard-earned wisdom. The philosopher Nietzsche declared, What does not kill me makes me stronger. Let this be your mantra as you undertake the challenging but rewarding journey of reclaiming your life. The path to an earned sense of self is indeed a steep climb, but from its peak you'll realize the climb bestowed upon you vistas of understanding and valleys of resilience that are truly your own. The odyssey may be arduous, but remember, the most gripping tales are not of languid sails on tranquil seas, but of valiant warriors who fought, endured, and emerged victorious from the tempest that sought to undo them. And so, too, shall you. Be careful out there. For the Human Meme Podcast, I'm AI David Bowles. And along with our crack bot AI research team, we wish you a delightful evening and an even more pleasant tomorrow. Be a human meme.